Hey there, today I'm going to share a quick tip for handheld shooting, which uh, I do quite a lot. And uh, I'm sure you know the struggle of uh, having a rig like that, which is quite heavy and uh, you know, going to this posture and having back pain at the end of the day. So uh, that's something I wanted to found a solution for. Quick disclaimer, I didn't, uh, this is not my invention or anything. I come up, I've come up with this, but uh, I'm sure someone else probably has found the same solution. So I'm not claiming this as my invention. I just uh, thought I'd share it and uh, because it's helpful. Of course, there is the Easy Rig. Uh, I've used it before as well. And it's quite nice, but it's also quite big. You look a bit silly and for run and gun stuff, it's not that ideal, I would say. I thought there must be another solution and uh, I've had this peak design strap here. I think it's called Slide. And I've had this for over a year now and, and I have never really used it. I bought it with the idea in mind to uh, make my life easier, <laughs> but uh, I used it, you know, in the traditional way, like this uh, on a photo camera, which you just wear like that, um, or like this on the side of your camera. And to be honest, it doesn't look uh, that professional um, if you put the bigger strap on this camera and you put it on the sides. And also, the strap gets in your way uh, of your hands and it, it's kind of, yeah, it's not that great. So I've never used it again. But then uh, I've thought of a new solution. Peak Design also ships this little piece here. Uh, it has two mounting options for these clips and it's just a regular quarter inch screw where, which you can put anywhere in your camera. And I've put this on my top handle. You put the strap around like this and you just clip these in like that. This is my uh, poor man's easy rig. So you have three points of contact. You can also just leave it like this if you don't use it, if you trust uh, the piece here. But I think it's quite solid. And yeah, again, you have three points of contact. So if you put some pressure on it, you get really, really stable footage. And also it distributes the weight much more efficient on your body, not just uh, your arms and your shoulders, also around your neck, uh, your upper back. And it's just much easier to work like this, uh, especially if it's a long day and you're, uh, you're all doing handheld. Also with the strap, you can easily um, make it longer like this. If you wanna go, I don't know, on a lower angle or just need more room and make it shorter again, which is really nice. It works really fast. And if you want to just release it, it's as easy as this. That's it, uh, no more strap. So I found this was quite a easy, cheap and clever solution to just uh, A, get less back pain and B, get more stable footage, which you really do with uh, the three points of contact. And also, you won't look like a tourist. Uh, it still looks professional because it's on your top handle, it's not on the sides, and it, the strap won't get in the way, which is nice. Obviously, the best way to use this strap is on the top handle of your rig, but I was also wondering if it's possible to use it on a gimbal, so let's see. So, here you go, there's the gimbal setup. Uh, I've used, by the way, I've used this small rig arm here. I found this quite nice to get a extend the grip on the Ronin S. And I've also mounted the monitor on here. Uh, this might not be ideal for everyone, but uh, I'm quite tall and sometimes I, well, it's too low. So let's see if that works on the gimbal. Well, it, it feels quite nice to be honest. You can also put some pressure on it to get uh, another point of contact. And for moves like this, it's quite fine. Probably not so much for walking because you get this move uh, even more with the strap, but just for smaller move like, moves like this, it's probably fine. And again, it helps with getting the, the weight of your upper back. So this might just be a bonus trick you could do with this little strap here. And it's really fast, uh, really quick to clip on if you need it. Uh, but obviously the best way to use it is on the, the top handle of the camera. Okay, that's been it already for this quick tip. 
Uh, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you want to see more stuff, you might subscribe to the channel.